A long, long time ago I can still remember How that music used to make me smile And I knew if I had my chance well, I think the generation I'm in is um, partly defined by the fact that I'm the youngest of, of three, and coming off of a, uh, a family that, that served during World War II and started to experience the fruits of the American dream that my mom and dad had set out to fulfill after the war was over. And so I think the children that I grew up with uh, sat in that same generation for the most part. And, uh, and we were enjoying all of the things that our mom and dads worked so hard to accomplish. But then kind of on the other side was this kind of emerging new freedom um, that was marked very much by Woodstock. And so Woodstock and all that it symbolized um, was a big part of my family as we grew up. I had a brother who was a musician, and I just remember all the marquee names of Woodstock being talked about and played, and that music definitely resonating um, in and around our neighborhood when I was growing up. So I would definitely say that generation. I think um, as I look at my life and I look at my generation, and I look at the 60s and we've kind of moved from the rock and roll era and then we moved into the political era where we really focused on politics and we focused on the world um, with not only uh, Vietnam but we moved into the Carter Age and we had the uh, Iranian hostage situation and then we moved into the era of Reagan and, and Bush and there was this sense that um, we were a generation that wanted um, everything we could get out of life because there was so much hope because the world was actually expanding. We were becoming more of a, a, a global uh, economy and a global society as opposed to just America. I think there was a lot of um, protesting going on at the time, not satisfied what was going on certainly with the Vietnam War. And I remember being in elementary school and it was, it was a time where I, I didn't truly understand what was going on, but all of a sudden, everybody was walking out of class. I thought it was the coolest thing. Didn't know why I was walking out too, but it was the start in my life of an organized protest. Well, I think uh, one that definitely comes to mind is uh, the landing on the moon and Neil Armstrong walking on the surface of the moon. Mr. Gorbachev. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. As I got older, I would say uh, the um, memory that comes to my mind with this question would be um, the fall of the Berlin Wall and uh, Reagan's presidency and the chance to uh, see um, the world begin to move closer together. I grew up at a time when um, the Iron Curtain was firmly in place. There were good guys and bad guys and um, spies were real and they were real important and this thought of uh, that wall coming down and the possibilities of cultures beginning to come together and for there to be peace in the world uh, was certainly a possibility and I remember that being a very significant event for me. Well, I think as a generation and not just us personally, after 9-11, I think there's a great fear for our national security for the well-being of the citizens of our nation. Um, we were quite vulnerable, and 9-11 proved that. And obviously, the financial crisis going on. Um, fortunately, we have a few years to go <laughs> to see our portfolios rise again, but um, I do believe that financial security is a concern for everybody at this point. I tend to think of my generation now in those working years, and. And I, I think that we're marked by uh, the curse of the blessing that we've had. 
I think for the most part uh, I'm around a generation of people who did get to go to school and who did have an opportunity to um, enter the marketplace in a thriving economy and, and so they had opportunities to explore new things, do new things, achieve, grow, certainly in very much a materialistic way, but they've experienced that. And so now there's a, um, I think there's a bondage. Uh, there's a bondage to, um, frankly, the affluence and the prosperity that we've experienced and that we were so encouraged by our parents to go and um, achieve. What I would love to see define the future for our children is revival. I think everything that's going on now is teaching us something. And I hope and pray that the next generation learns the lesson that it's meant to see and, uh, and learn. They were singing, bye bye Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing this'll be the day that I die.